All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. I wanted to go to bed early. But I uh, thought I'd do this update for you. But Mormons don't care. Mormons believe that the Book of Mormon is literal history, and anybody who says otherwise, even science, even if it's faith-promoting, Mormons don't care. It has to be literal history. Science has to change. Everybody has to leave them alone. Quit telling them that the Book of Mormon is not literal history and couldn't have been an ancient record and blah, blah, blah. Mormons believe that Joseph Smith history is literally true. That it literally happened exactly as written. A literal truth. Just like those who believe the Bible, literally true, as translated into the English, depending on which English translation they use. Literally true, despite the errors of history. Anybody that tells them it's an error is the enemy, Korahor. Mormons refuse to believe. Just like uh, Joseph Smith translation. Joseph was not talking about the latter days, even though it is. It's not the way Travis says it is. It's not about signs in the heavens. They don't mean anything, Travis. They're just pretty signs that we'll see. Despite the likeness of things on the earth edition. Anybody who tries to tell us otherwise is wrong. Jesus is their Christ. They're Christian. Any other Christ is a false Christ, even if it's Joseph. <laughs> even if it's a Mormon in the latter days. False Christ, automatically, because it's Jesus, created as history by Constantine, and anybody who says so is wrong. <laughs> you see, yes? Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, testing Nelson to see if he's going to fit the pattern in the heavens from Scripture and the math because uh, I've noticed a reverse pattern for this year with other things especially we're in a tetrad and it's a reverse pattern from the 2014 2015 pattern of the tetrad but with scripture prophecy it's a a uh, revelation 12 pattern in uh, 2017-18 when Monson died with the, uh, the sign of the dragon and the stars falling from the tail of the dragon being uh, the fifth dark day of Hanukkah in 2017 and then uh, Monson dying quadranted meteor showers and, and the super moon which was a full moon then and so here we have a super new moon rather than full moon and we have the quadranted meteor showers peaking on the same night second into the third and so uh, I went over with you also the moon as it's counting down it's moving into its final position here and so uh, bring up the pictures I'll put them in the video at the beginning. And so on the 28th, when I first did this video, uh, the moon, which is falling, because it's waning. Waning means it's darkening. That's a falling of the moon, a collapse of the moon. Like the eye being plucked out, as the ancient Egyptian story tells us. And so it's, it's born. It has begun. And uh, this is a rare thing. The moon doesn't always wane 
at Spica in Virgo. This is rare. And in conjunction with the other scriptures and signs in the heavens that are going on, yeah, exceedingly rare. And that's also another signal that we're got to pay attention. And so uh, the moon is only uh, involved with Mars. That's where it's dealing with, as Mars is on the, the throne of God right now, the head of the church. That's Nelson. Since he took over when uh, Monson died, Mars was at the top of the scales of Libra. And this time, Mars is sitting on the throne of God. And so here's the waning moon just being born on the 28th. And so today, the waning moon is now the judge. The religion is judging the president of the church. And it's not good. And so tomorrow, the 30th, as I'll most likely post this today, which yesterday, which is tomorrow, <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. Even though this will be a quick video, I guess. Maybe. And so, yeah, tomorrow, religion gets judged. It's on the scales of judgment. And Nelson, we already know, has fallen. He's been doing too many things that have gone national, worldwide, not just national, with the billionaire and the other Mormon who's who's doing the little play musical on how the church squanders or hoards the money rather than helping the poor and the needy, sick and the afflicted. They're causing harm. So we already know the judgment's bad. Signs in the heavens tell us also. And so on the 31st, which is Friday, the uh, moon will then be in conjunction with Mars, which is Nelson. And so there you go. Dum dum dum. <coughs> it is the focus of this judgment that is going on. And so I had to put in the first New Year's, uh, which is at the other knee of Ophiuchus. And the other knee of Ophiuchus is the tail of the dragon serpents. So the moon is falling from the tail of serpents, the dragon. Nelson failed. He's fallen. And, uh, and so on the second, four years ago, Nelson died, or Monson died, at 10.01, had to correct that. And I need to make sure to get the snapshot so that I can revise that picture rather than having to keep revising it from the old one. Because I put 10.02, but it was 10.01, which is a reverse pattern, 10.10.01. Shouldn't have to explain that. And so, yeah, the new moon is on the second, and it's a super new moon, and uh, uh, that's the fall four years later. And so that would explain uh, why uh, nothing happened on September 22nd, and uh, because uh, four years. Nephi, not Moroni, because why was Joseph Smith wrong about the name of the angel who visits him? Come on. Seriously, you're going to trust the church saying that Joseph Smith, the founder of Mormonism, is wrong? <laughs> oh my God. And so Nephi, 
there's other reasons why it's Nephi. <laughs> Joseph Smith is the Christ. But, uh, yeah, he comes four times. In the evening, and then midnight into the morning. Four times. And then Joseph has to go back year after year four times. And so the latter days was 2017. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. So it's actually 18, 19, 20, 21. Four years. I really want to go bad. So, yeah, the, th the theory test is here, and, uh, and it's up upgraded and revised, and so I just reminded you, if you're going to continue to believe that the church is true because they lie to us, and they give us a false god, Christ, to worship, that uh, Nelson just can't even be a prophet, seer, revelator, or translator. None of it. He's not warning you about the signs in the heavens. I am. He's not correcting translations. Dear God. Israel, let God prevail. Oh my God. I am. And warning you so that you would stay safe. But you don't listen. You know, today, yeah. And why? Well, it's Wednesday. So what happens? What was on Sunday, guys? Nelson announced that church would only be for one hour. And guess who came to town? All the in-laws. And so, yeah, what did you think was going to happen? You're not listening to the medical professionals, let alone me. You're not listening to Joseph Smith, who told you to do the same thing. You're not listening to Moses, who told to do the same thing. You're not listening to anybody. You're just doing your own thing. And you're dying. And yes, it's named Omicron, the Greek letter for the symbol of the moon. Hmm, right in the middle of a tetrad. Who would have thought? So, yeah. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm pretty sure they aren't holding a meeting this week. I would think they'd take the full two weeks off. kind of stupid for them to to meet rather than do online meetings <laughs> putting their lives at risk not following medical professionals as there's several who are medical professionals and they're not even following their own medical field Everybody's just being dumb. Talking of bravery. Alrighty, I'm done. <laughs>